This is a W1209WK digital thermostat temperature controller and I have several of these that I'm using right now. I just wanted to show you real quick how to set these up. They're super simple. So on the back one, one of the little terminals is marked positive, one is marked negative. That's your 12 volts in, 12 volts positive, 12 volts negative. And then this other is just a relay contact. And so this is where your load's going to go. Now, it, when you buy these things, they tell you that they can handle either 10 or 20 amps, which is, uh, they're not going to handle that much amperage. So if you're going to use this for anything of any size, I would use these to control another relay just to protect this thing. Now, these are really cheap, but still, you know, you're going to just keep burning them out. That's what I would use. Your load here, unless you've got something that's only using an amp or two, I would run it to a relay. Uh, to control whatever it is that you're going to control. Like if you're going to use this to heat something, your heating element should definitely be controlled by some other type of a relay and just use this to activate that relay. So the main point of this uh, video is to show you how to program these. Now to switch from Celsius to Fahrenheit is very easy. There's a, a C and F button on the front. You just touch that and you go from that Celsius to Fahrenheit. And then to set at the temperature that you want it to be, you just hit the set button. Now the bottom's blinking, and, and then these two become an up button and a, and a down button. So you hit the set button, and you can run your temperature down, or you can run your temperature up. And if you pause for just a second, it goes back to its normal mode, which is that right there. Okay, now to get into the programming, you hold this down for five seconds, and you get into programming mode. And P1 is... Uh, P1 is how much it's going, how many degrees it's going to vary before it comes back on. So let's say you set this to 78 and you want it to cool. This is this one is set up for cooling right now. So it's 84 degrees in here. You can see the little red light, which means that it's active. So if you had this hooked to something like a fan, it would be running that fan right now. And so if you want it to go to 78 and then come on when it gets to... Uh, 80 so in other words it'll cool it down to 78 and then it'll warm slowly and then when it hits 80 degrees it'll come back on because you don't want something that's going to bring it down to 78 and then when it hits 78.1 it's going to come on and then at 70 it's going to go off and it'll be cycling back and forth really fast and wear your equipment out so you want to have like a degree or two at least difference so you would set that I normally for a cooling I set that and then you click both of them to say, oh shoot, you gotta, you gotta move fast. Okay, so to change that, we, you hold both of them down and say that's the one I want to do and then we're going to run it down. I usually do two, two degrees, so something like that. And then you hit both of them again and that locks it in. And then it goes back to its normal operation. Now we're going to go back in and the first one that's P1, that's what we just did. And then P2, P0, you're setting that to say whether you want it to be in cooling mode or heating mode. And that just means that is it going to, so in cooling mode, when the temperature gets hotter than what you've said, it's going to turn the relay on. In heating mode, it's going to turn the relay on when the temperature gets lower than the temperature that you've set. So that's your heating and cooling mode. To get into all the programming, you hold this down for five seconds, and then you scroll through them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then when you find the one that you want to adjust, you hit both of these together, and then you can use the, these as up and down arrows to adjust it to what you want it to be, and then you hit both of them to lock that in. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's talk about what each one is. So here's all the different modes. You got P0, heating and cooling, which we talked about. P1, return difference. That's the amount that it's going to vary before it's going to turn on and turn off. And we normally set that at 2 degrees. Set the upper limit. That's about, you can set this, and I've, I've never used set the upper limit or set the lower limit. But I believe you set these to um, a setting, and then when it gets to that, it will alarm and the the lower limit is it'll go down to this and if it gets below that then it'll alarm. P4 is temperature correction and that would be if you figure out 
that the thermostat isn't reading properly, you can tell it to adjust by a few degrees in order to make it correct. High temperature alarm, I believe that's um, again where you can have an alarm if it uh, gets too high or too low. I'm not real sure about those, I don't use them. And then the Celsius and Fahrenheit, uh, you can do by the front uh, button, but you can also set it here. And then if a P8 is a factory reset that just resets it back to its factory settings. All right, so that's it on these. I just wanted to show how to program these. I've got a project coming up uh, where I'm going to talk about these, and I just wanted to, it, this is part of that project. Um, it's a, a temperature controller for an air conditioner, and I just wanted to put this video out there so that people would be able to uh, know how to program these if, the, if, in fact, they did decide to build that project. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.